Today, I'm going to show you how to create an applause followed by a one minute countdown timer using PowerPoint. Let's get started. When we hold online meetings, a presentation like this can make our meeting look very professional. When a speaker finishes his speech, we start with an applause followed by a one minute countdown and a final slide which simply says that minute is up. How does this work? Let's say I run this slide and I click on the applause. At the end of the applause, I click on the next slide and the countdown starts along with some useful information for the attendees in the meeting. And when the minute is over, it will automatically show a slide which says one minute is up. How do we create something like this? Let's start with the first slide. This one is very simple. It has two text boxes, one image file and one audio file. So let me go at the bottom and say new slide blank. Since we are going to use this in the Toastmaster meeting, let's use the Toastmaster brand colors. To do that, right click anywhere and say format background. I'll choose the solid fill. And the color that I need is a very specific color. So let me choose more colors and go to the custom option and type the navy blue brand color of Toastmasters which is 004165. Next I need to insert a text box. Insert a text box and let's say virtual applause. Let's make the color of the font white and choose a font size that is big. Similarly, I need to insert the club name. So let me do that here. Again, I'll choose the white as the background and a size that is reasonable. The logo is available at the Toastmasters website. And if we go under the resources and the brand portal and scroll down to the logo and design elements, we'll find the logo here. Let me choose the PNG. And if I click copy image and come to PowerPoint and paste the image, I can then resize it to the right size and place it here. Finally, I need to insert the applause slide. I have it on my computer as an MP3 file. You can insert any applause sound file that you can find on the internet. So let me say insert audio from my PC. And let's go to the desktop where I have the file stored. And I will choose the playback to be when clicked on. So my first slide is done. Let's go to the next slide. Again, I'll insert a new slide. I want the background of this slide to be the same as the previous slide. And to do that, I'm going to use the Format Painter option. I go to the previous slide, go to Home and Format Painter, then choose the new slide and click on it. And my background is changed to navy blue. Let's start building our clock. So first I want to create a clock face, a circle. To insert this shape, I will go to Insert and click on Shapes and choose the oval option. To draw a circle, 
hold the shift key while you are dragging the mouse to make the circle big or small let's say this is the size i'm interested in and i can move it to wherever i want next i want to change the color of the shape to one of the toastmaster brand colors maroon for example and to do that i'll go to shape format the shape fill and again i will choose more colors because i have a specific color in mind which is 772432 this is the brand color of toastmasters for maroon and there i have it my clock face Next, I want to add some animation to this shape. To insert an animation, I will click on the animation button. And I have a specific animation in mind which is not here, so I'll click on the arrow down. And the animation that I want is the wheel animation. As you can see the duration of the animation is currently set to 2 seconds and let's say i want it to be 1 second every 1 second it should turn and let me put the start to be with previous that means when the slide is started automatically the animation will start to see how this looks let's go to slide show that's it If I want this animation to continue rotating I can go to the animation pane and in the drop down choose effects option go to timing and repeat until end of slide If I now check how it will look this is how the animation will look when the slide is played let us next create a frame around the countdown clock to do that i'll insert another circle shape so i will choose oval and again make sure i hold down the shift key as i drag the arrow to create the circle shape the shape should be bigger than the previous shape and let me move it back by using send to back let's have it little smaller size now this shape I want to have no fill and I will play around with the shape outline. So first let me choose the outline color. Again I'll go to the more outline colors and let's choose another Toastmaster brand color which is a gray A9B2B1. You can find the codes for all Toastmaster brand colors in the Toastmaster brand manual. Next, I want to make the outline bigger. So, I again choose the shape outline, put the weight, and the maximum I can choose here is 9, but I want it bigger than that. So, let me click on more lines. And in the width here, instead of 1, let me choose 20. that seems great i'll adjust the size of the sub shape so that it completely covers my clock and that should do it next let's work on the numbers starting from 60 and moving all the way to 01 So first let me insert a text box 
and type 60. And change the color to white so that it contrasts nicely with the maroon background and choose a very large size, let's say 180. And maybe even make it bold. Very nice. Or maybe let's make it a little smaller. Let's make it 150. I think this should do it. Yep. I have my number now. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to attach some animations to this number. The first animation will make the number appear. And the second animation will make the number disappear. So let me click on this and click animation appear. Make sure that the animation is set to with previous. This means the animation will start automatically when the slide starts. The rest we can leave as it is. Now I want to attach a second animation to the same number. And the way we do that is we don't click here, but we go to add animation. And the animation that I want to add is disappear. So this is the appear and this is the disappear. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to drag this arrow. One second exactly. Which means the number 60 will appear immediately when you start the slide, but it will disappear after one second. Let's copy this number and make 59. And that's very easy to do. You can just hold the control key and move the shape and it makes a copy. And I will change this to 59. And I'll change the parameters of 59 here to make it appear after one second exactly and disappear exactly after two seconds. Very simple. I continue doing it, move it, hold down the control key and make a copy. Change the number to 58. Change the animation to start at 2 seconds and stop at 3 seconds. And we continue doing this for the rest of the numbers. Three seconds, four seconds. So I will do the rest of the numbers very quickly and fast forward. If you find the screen getting crowded, simply move all the numbers on top of each other so you get more space to work with. Start again with 54, copy, and so on. We now have all the numbers from 60 to 01. And to make sure that they are all aligned, what I can do is select everything and choose the shape format align top and align left so everything is neatly tucked the final step is again select all these numbers and move them inside my clock face if i now run the animation it should do the countdown from 60 to 01 beautiful here we can see all the animations that we have built from, from 1 second to 60 seconds.
the rest of the information is very simple in fact let me copy this from the previous slide one minute of silence bring it here and paste the club name and the logo can be copied from a previous slide because it's the same thing select both the objects press copy paste maybe move this a little bit to the right and finally we have this code which is done using the shape to do that i will say insert shape and I'll use this object, which looks like a quotation mark. And I can type any code that I want in this box. Of course, since it's a Toastmaster event, I will make sure that this color is brand color and let me match it here. And the way I do it is I select shape fill and I'll use the eyedropper tool to pick the color from this shape and apply it to this shape. The image, again, you can go to the internet and pick up any image. For me, I will just copy the image from the previous slide and post it here. I'll copy the same code from what I have here. You can, of course, go to the internet and pick up suitable slide codes of Ralph Madley. And we are almost done. The last thing is, how to transition this to the next slide once the minute is over. And the way I will do it is, again, let me insert a new slide, then change the background to be the same as the previous background. And I can do that by using the Format Painter, Home, Format Painter, and Apply. I need a text box which says one minute is up and the other elements I can copy them from my previous slide, the logo and the club name, copy, go to the new slide, paste. Again, I can copy this object and control V to paste it and say one minute is up. Now to automatically transition this slide after the end of 60 seconds to the next slide, I can add one transition and in the advanced slide option I will say after one minute which is one and that's it. Let's have a look at how the slides appear when we present them. Starting with the applause, let me start with the slideshow and play the applause. Beautiful. Let's advance to the next slide and when I do that, you will notice that the countdown timer starts automatically. Just make sure that all the numbers are counting down in the right sequence and that will depend upon how we have created the animations for a number to appear at a specific time and then disappear after one second. Everything looks good. Very impressive. And there you have it, my friends. A countdown timer created in PowerPoint with beautiful animations. And in 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and it has automatically moved to the next slide, telling us that one minute is up. For those of you who might find the process time consuming, I have included the link to this PowerPoint in the description of the video. I hope you enjoyed it and good luck in your next Toastmaster online meeting.